Detective Logan is called in to collaborate on a new undercover operation after a series of high-profile murders within corporate circles. Upon discovering that the suspects only communicate within virtual spaces, he is forced to immerse himself into the dangerous world of cybercrime, where some of the darkest and unimaginable secrets in existence are waiting to be discovered. Hello everybody, this is David Arroyo, and what you just heard is the elevator pitch for my new webcomic called Immersion. So, I said I was going to reveal it in 2015, and boy, guess what? It's the 31st of December, last day of the year, but it still is 2015. So, finally, immersion. And so what I'm going to talk about is a couple things. I'm going to cover, first of all, the way that um, this drawing was made. It was made on an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil, so for all you artists out there that are curious, yes, it is indeed freaking awesome. The Apple Pencil works really well, the iPad Pro is perfect for it. Um, I do, however, not uh, recommend guys or people out there buying an iPad Pro just for the sake of wanting to have a bigger screen, because it's quite expensive. Uh, I get all money's worth out of it because I use the Apple Pencil, I draw with it. It is literally like having a Wacom Cintiq, just lighter. It doesn't have uh, fans that heat up or make noise. It is just the perfect device for me. So with that said, uh, and then on to Procreate, because yeah, I don't actually tend to use Procreate that often. But for this particular piece, uh, and of course, all the difference is in the Apple Pencil. See, the Apple Pencil has a nice thin tip, so it allows you to really, really draw very precise, like you would on paper. On top of that, you get to zoom in, zoom out, you know, just literally like on a Wacom Cintiq. So anyone that has tried a Wacom Cintiq, it's literally the same. Okay, the glass feeling feels a little bit smoother than on a Wacom Cintiq. A Wacom Cintiq has more of that paper feel to it, which is very nice. But on the upside, it's a lighter device. I think the Wacom Cintiq um, Companion 2 costs about... I'm talking in euros now because I'm in Europe. So uh, somewhere around 1,600, 1,500 euros. Uh, whereas the iPad Pro, it's like 500 euros less. So, you know, it, it kind of worked out really well. Okay, you have to buy the Apple Pencil separately and all that stuff. But still, it still comes out cheaper and it has the same stuff. For people out there that are worried for the apps like, oh yeah, but you don't get like Photoshop and Illustrator and all that, don't worry about it. Go to this website called uh, astropad.com download the software it is amazing it will basically allow you to mirror a uh, part of the screen uh, of your your macbook uh, or your imac or any of that however in important little detail it does have to be an apple product that's the only unfortunate thing so if you have a pc running windows astropad won't work so it's important to know this uh, but if you do have a Mac um, and you want to use Photoshop or Illustrator or any of these drawing, you know, these professional drawing apps with all the cool tools like Sketchbook Pro and all that stuff, and you want to use that on your iPad Pro, no worries, you can do it. It connects, uh, it connects through Wi-Fi or cable. So here's some advertisement for AstroPad. Really, really cool. Really worth it you end up basically with a professional tablet and I couldn't be any happier. However, for this piece, Procreate got all the job done. Which reminds me, I've actually been doing a lot of research on how to make comics uh, on an iPad Pro and I've actually discovered that it's perfectly possible to do it all just on the iPad Pro. I mean, okay, there's some little bits and bobs that help to do it elsewhere, like um, on this piece, everything is done in Procreate except for one last um, moment at the end where I had to go into Photoshop uh, to type in some text and then distort it and all that stuff, and I place it basically into the image. Uh, but aside from that, there is this other app called Graphic. It's by um, Autodesk. 
and it is phenomenal. It's this really cool vector application, kind of like Illustrator, very professional. You can create logos. You can obviously write text as well. So, you you know, I've, I've basically managed to import uh, 300 DPI international A4 paper size and basically add um, text over my, my artwork um, and then export it again as a 300 DPI uh, document, which is exactly what I need. Uh, as a comic book artist, uh, that's what you need. You need to work in uh, high quality. I haven't been able to go above 300 DPI, so for those of you that like to draw in 600 DPI, maybe not. <clears throat> Maybe not the right thing for you, but uh, it works. It, it's all really good, and you know, um, there you go. That's these are my thoughts on uh, the iPad Pro, Apple Pencil, Procreate, um, Graphic by Autodesk. Um, yeah, it's it, it literally is a little workstation for artists, so it works really well. And so far, I I, I cannot confirm yet that I can do the entire comic book page. Um, on on an iPad Pro itself, I might have to go onto my Mac or whatever. But I think you know, with a little bit of research and a little bit of uh, looking around here, I think it's possible. Once I have the right templates in place, should be doable. All right. So now that all the technicalities are out of the way, let's get back to the matter at hand, which is immersion. So there must be two questions on your mind. One is when is it coming out and two where can I read it? Well the first answer is it should be coming out the beginning of 2016, January, February. As for where you can watch it, well or read it I should say, is www.immersioncomics.com as usual, I thank all of you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and yeah, stay tuned. Lots of great things are coming. I wish you all a happy new year as well and take care guys.